Hey, <laughs> how Stella got her groove back, and she's starting to get her groove in that clip. That was a pajama party. All right, now, could that movie have worked with an all-white cast? Oh, I think so. Absolutely. You do? Yeah, sure. I think the themes that Stella was dealing with are themes that are universal. They're not, they, they cross racial lines, you know, somebody being in a rut, looking for love, having problems with their family, uh, not accepting somebody they bring into the, I mean, these aren't white, black things. These are, these are universal, universal themes. Thing. Yeah, Absolutely. I, I, sure. I, I think so. You, when they told me the theme of this show, I thought, well, that's interesting because they thought of how Stella got a groove back as a quote-unquote black movie. And when I went to see the movie, I wasn't thinking of it as a black movie. I thought it's a movie about an older woman and a younger man. So to me, it's like the fact that they were black was, was obviously part of the story, but it was sort of incidental to the story. It wasn't what the story was about. I have to say that I didn't hear people describe it as a black movie. I heard women say, oh, they finally got something with a, a mature woman right. and a younger guy because right. we've been seeing all the older guys with the babes. Right. What about you, Miss Filmmaker? That's right. It seems like to me, like, you know, if you like a young thing, it doesn't matter <laughs> <laughs> what color you are. Byron couldn't have said it more graciously. <laughs> well, you go. Joe? Um, I agree that it's not necessarily a black film, but I think there's a lot of things that are expressed in the film that might not have worked with a white cast. I think a lot of the, the dialogue, I think a lot of the, the reactions might not have worked. Uh -huh. um, like only Meryl, Meryl Streep could not have kept saying, don't go there. Don't go there. Meryl yeah. Streep couldn't pull off, don't go there. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, we just um, skew it a little bit in right. that yeah. case. I mean, yeah. it, it, depending upon the writing. Right. Um, right. But, I, okay. Listen to this. This is a description of a movie. A 40-year-old divorced woman begins a romance with a handsome man in his early 20s while she is on vacation in a sunny, warm climate. This is the plot line to the comedy 40 Carats, released in 1973 based on a Broadway hit of the same name. Liv Ullman was the divorcee, Edward Albert played the young man who wants to marry her, and Gene Kelly starred as the ex-husband with whom the woman is still friendly. Didn't we see all of those elements in How Stella Got a Groove Back? Of course. Absolutely. And I think because it was an all-black cast, people have started to talk about it as a black movie. And you know, it's not the case that that means because it was an all black cast that it was a peculiarly black theme right. in the movie. It really wasn't. What was the racial makeup of the audience when you went to see it? I, I found it to be, if anything, I found it to be a gender difference. There were mostly women in the audience. Mostly and not, women? Absolutely. That, and uh, a lot of older women, too, uh -huh. is what I found. Now, when you say older, what do you mean? Uh, older than me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right, we're going to leave it at that. Well, I think that's true that, you know, if, if you want to classify films as, you know, and I hate to say this, a chick film, right. you know. But there are women critics who are, describe right. certain mm -hmm. genre of, uh, of movies as chick flicks. Of course. And this, I think, co comes in the category of it, a chick flick. It does. It does. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> it was good for me. <laughs>